Hello! Welcome back to the Minecraft Toy Box. This is episode 8. And I'm about to turn around and show you what I've done since last episode. It's all gone. It's all gone. It's all torn down. The mound is gone. The lake has been filled. And what we're left with is a nice, big, sizable plot of developable land. What are we going to build here? Well, you already know it. This is, of course, where our base is going to go. But I have really told you... Nothing about this base that we're going to be building. And I'm going to tell you one thing about it right now. Just one thing, one simple fact. This base is going to be the coolest. The coolest. The coolest base you have ever seen in Minecraft. Forget anybody else's bases that you might have seen in other series. This is going to take the cake. All right. And that is big headed of me to say that. That is boastful. It's probably going to bite me in the bite me in the bum for saying that but this is going to be the coolest base ever i guarantee it i guarantee it before we get into anything though we actually have a new piece of art into the gallery so we have this first one and the new one is sneaky sark by fred hive so i actually had a fair few pieces uh, of fan art since uh, the last episode and some of them are actually quite good um i particularly liked this one i thought it was really nice so it and it's it's spotted to the gallery. I think it's pretty nice. Yeah, I like it. What do you think of it? All right. So what are we doing today? We're doing two things. Two things, and one of them does ever so slightly involve the base. Actually, we're going to plot out the base. We're going to plot out where it is geographically located because that's always important. Because we need to know that first off before we start building anything. Um, we might build the base a tiny bit, just a little bit. Um, but more importantly, more importantly, what we're doing today, um, is what we're going to do is we're going to solve our hunger problem because you might notice that I have no food, no food, and it's kind of a recurring problem. So we're going to solve that today. And how are we going to solve that? Well, what we're going to do is we are going to build an automatic cow breeder and that's going to be pretty cool. Okay. So let's get the, let's get the general shape here. So the building is rectangular in shape in the simplest of... Actually, it's not rectangular. The, the actual word is a cuboid, I suppose. Um, it's not a cuboid, but that in its simplest form. So it's basically longer on one dimension than the other. So it's kind of a question on which which axis we want to put the longer, the, the longer side, if you get what I mean. So we could do it this way, so the longer side like this and the shorter side like that. Or we can obviously do the opposite. And um, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I know that the spawn is here, so we spawn over here. So it would kind of make sense if the 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 entrance was on this side, which would mean the longest the longest bit is on this on this axis. Uh, but we would have to move this, and it would be a little bit cramped. I mean, I think it's going to be cramped either way because uh, the dimensions for it is forty nine by seventy nine. Or 79 by 49 if you want. Um, so I'm going to try and map it out a little bit. See which one gives the best amount of space. And then I'll get back to you and uh, show you kind of what it's... What, you're not going to see anything like what it's going to look like. But you're going to sort of see the space it's going to occupy. Right, so we have it mapped out. As you can see, it's occupying a fair bit of space. Um, I possibly could have centred a little better. Like, as you can see, it's kind of... Uh, squished into this into this corner a little bit but I kind of wanted to keep this area open this area because I think that's where I'm going to do the uh, the cow thingy and this area here because as I already mentioned this is kind of where your spawn is or my spawn is um, and yeah I don't want the uh, the structure to just sort of be right in your face as soon as you spawn I want it to be a little bit of a little bit of just a little not a, not a lawn, not a lawn, but like a, a space. I, I just want there to be a little bit of space before you actually reach the building. I think it would look better like that. And yeah, it's, as you can see by the outlines, it's quite, it's quite large and it's going to take some time to build. Um, we might build a little bit in this episode, but we're obviously not going to build uh, the whole thing in this episode because that would be, that'd be insane. <laughs> Fun fact. We are now able to create command blocks because I recently found some pumpkins uh, and pumpkins are key in creating a 
to have locks, strangely enough. That's just how I made it, and you'll see why in a moment. So let me show you how to do this, because it might not be super duper clear by the instructions I gave you if you're even playing along with this. So uh, we obviously need uh, we need an armor stand, we need a dropper. Okay, so just a craft, a craft a dropper like that. There you go, I've got a dropper, and we need to we need to rename the pumpkin uh, to. So go to the anvil over here. Just need to rename the the uh, the pumpkin to. Command Crafter, okay? So you could just rename Pumpkin Command Crafter like that. Uh, and now you have to select where you want to place the command, the actual Command Crafter, because you need a Command Crafter to create command blocks. Uh, so I'm just going to pick somewhere that's not going to get in the way. So over here is probably going to be good, somewhere near to the box. Let's do it like, uh, let's do it, let's do it here, maybe. Yeah, let's do it here. So I'm going to dig, go dig down twice, because uh, that's how it needs to be, and you're going to place an armor stand. Is that entity? I think the entity is getting in the way. Go that. Okay. There we go. And we have to do is you have to just simply place that on there, and you'll see it has vanished miraculously. So what you have to do after that is you just have to take the uh, the dropper, and you just place it. Get rid of that. Uh, place it directly above where the armor stand was. So if the armor stand is there, then you go up two blocks and you place the dropper there. That now functions, or it should function, as a command craft. And I haven't tested this world yet. It, this could fail horribly. So let us put this to the test. Um, is it polished? I think it's polished. So do those like that. Four of these. And then a redstone in the center. Okay, that didn't work. Might possibly be raw granite let's try that if not then i've messed something up here ah there we go it worked it worked there we go so we now have command block that's how you make them uh, now this actually works in intervals of one five and ten so if you place uh five of the ingredients in the uh, the dropper then you'll get five you place ten then you'll get uh, ten command blocks just to speed things up so that's how you make command blocks and uh, you can make as many of these command crafters in the world as you like. Um, you just have to do what I just did, and that will now function as a command crafter. So, pretty pretty cool. Alright, so moving on, let's get started on this automatic cow breeder that I talked about. So, I think I'm going to place it around here somewhere. It might not be permanently placed here, I might move it at some point, because obviously I don't know where everything's going to go just yet. But I think this might be a good area to start with. So sort of somewhere in the center, maybe, like around here. Uh, so I'm going to build like a little pen out of some materials. I don't really have too many great ones. I'd like some some dark oak, but we don't have any, obviously. So I'm probably going to make it out of oak and uh, cobblestone. So let me make a little pen, and I'll get back to you. And here it is. So like I said, this is really temporary. It's makeshift. It's probably not even going to look anything like this. It's probably going to be bigger. might not even be located in this area, but I just wanted to... To make a little pen that wasn't just a fenced off area so it uh, looks very good uh yeah i think it will keep the, the cows in yeah, a little bit concerned about that but i'm not sure if they'd actually even consider that a block to to be worth jumping on so we'll see uh need to go find some cows i know there is some that way not too far off so i think i'm gonna go get them and get a few in here and then i'm going to show you how this how this is all going to work because you might be a bit interested in that right yo we have cows and we also have commands none of them actually have anything in them yet it's really empty for the time being um have about seven cows one of them did escape somehow i don't know how i think he might have been pushed into a corner and jumped but i didn't see it happen so it could also equally have been that he backflipped out of it or something like that i don't know so we're gonna actually fill these in with some stuff and we're gonna get this system working okay all the commands are in place and it should be operational now. I haven't tested it out, but it should work. But I want you to understand how it works. And I get that looking in command blocks isn't particularly fun viewing time, so I'll try to explain this in a visual way. First thing you need to know, though, is that there are two scoreboard objectives here which are important. We've got cow fertility, so cow fertility, because this is an automatic cow breeding system. And we also have cow fertility temp, but we'll just refer to it as temp to distinguish from cow fertility and temp. So cow fertility and temp, two scoreboard objectives. 
So the first thing we do is we need to basically, we basically need to brand these cows to, to specify that we're talking about these cows in the world and not just all of the cows in the world. So the first thing you need to do is you need to add them to the scoreboard objective. And the scoreboard objective that we're talking about is cow fertility. So what we're going to do is any cows that are inside this pen, we're going to give them 10 points in cow fertility. Then instantly afterwards, we're going to remove those 10 points. So what we're doing is we're giving them 10 points and then removing 10 points. Uh, and what that will do is it will register them on the uh, on cow fertility scoreboard objective. Once we've categorized all of these cows into cow fertility, we need to further categorize them, okay? So what the system does is it randomly selects a few cows. So let's say it's randomly selected these two cows over here to further categorize them, to distinguish them from the rest of the herd. It selects these two cows and it gives them both one point in temp, okay? So that's basically so we can distinguish these cows from those cows. Then what it does is it places any cow who has one point in temp, it places them into love mode. So love mode is the mode when they start breeding. So these cows will now be put in love mode and they will have a baby. Then what will happen is any cow, once it's been bred, any cow that is um, in love mode and has temp one, it will add a point in cow fertility. So that first scoreboard objective. So these cows over here, after it's all said and done, we'll have cow fertility zero. These ones will have cow fertility one. And what is the point of cow fertility? Well, basically, I thought it would be kind of interesting if cows were only allowed to breed a few times. So, you know, once they've had a few calves, they're no longer able to breed and reproduce. So, once a cow has basically reproduced three times it is now retired it is no longer allowed to have any more babies so for example if we do the cycle again and one of these cows is picked it will um, have another baby but it will get an extra point in cow fertility whereas so this cow might have now have cow fertility two whereas this one has cow fertility one so once it gets to cow fertility three it no longer searches for them in the when it's looking for for cows to breed so if you're if the cow's too old then it's not even going to be considered for the the the, the, the breeding sweep if you want to call it that but maybe the best way is to just show you in action so let's try this out for the first time i'm not entirely sure if it's gonna work we press the button and hope for the best okay they're doing stuff they're doing stuff okay i see some xp and i see some babies okay good it works um, I'm actually going to remove the XP because I don't want to get gain XP from it because I think that's a little bit too much. Um, so yeah, we've got... Is there a third baby over there? Yeah, we've got three, but we've got three babies from that. So, uh, that worked. And if I actually show you, if I go scoreboard, uh, objectives, set display, sidebar, cow fertility... You'll actually see that we've got seven cows, so those seven first cows, they now have a point of one in cow fertility. So if we did that again and it picked them, then they will now have two and then we do it again and some of them will go at uh, three. And once they're at three, they can no longer be bred again, like I said. So uh, once they actually are at cow fertility three, something special happens. Uh, so let's just remove this... Uh, uh, scored because that's kind of intrusive so what happens once they have uh cow fertility three something special happens and i kind of want to show you in action but it's going to take some time because um they need to they need to to want to reproduce again that takes five minutes all right we're going to just speed up a little bit i've set one of them to cow fertility three for demonstration i'm not entirely sure which one it is uh but uh, when i press this button now they're all going to breed again, but the one with cow fertility 3, so DD79, or whoever that one is, is not going to breed, and he's also going to do something else. So let's try to get this. Might mess up. We'll have to see. Uh, where's the cursor? Uh, oh! Yep. He's a dead cow. So yeah, once they get to 3 and the cycle starts again, then the cow is marked off as retired, and uh, yeah, he... Go splat.
But that is actually all we have time for for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. By the way, this isn't finished by any means. We still need to fine tune it. We still need to make the whole thing look better. Like, uh, we don't want all of the cows to breed at the same time like I did, like I showed you. Um, but yeah, that's like, that's cow breed alpha. Cow breed alpha. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, a like is always appreciated. Click the screen now to watch episode 9. If you're a future viewer, if you're watching this as soon as it goes live, then no, it's not available yet, but it will be if you're not on the day.